Okay, boom, there I am, there you guys are, there is Tara, not bad, not bad, um, <laughs> so, uh, hey Carla, Jennifer's here, happy Easter everyone, uh, Heidi's here, Miss Zen Bliss is here, um, oh, okay, oh, Louisa's actually here, sweet, um, who did I, did I hope I didn't miss anybody. Oh, Lisa's here. Tiff is here. Uh, Claire is here. Sweet. Okay, if I missed you, I'm sorry. I, I think I got everybody. There's not that many people here. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, happy Easter to everybody that uh, celebrates. Easter is uh, my dad's... Um <laughs> You're on a boat. I love it when you guys do that. All right, sweet, Rita. <laughs> we'll catch you on the replay. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> I'm glad you remembered we're here. <laughs> hey, Sheila. Um, so Easter is my father's uh, absolute um, most significant and favorite holiday. And so I can appreciate those of you that celebrate it and um, for, for it, you know, well for whatever meaning it has with you, if it's just, or not just anything, but happy Easter. Um, hey, Shelly. Um, Tara and Rex are over there, and believe it or not, uh, I can't believe we're actually this close to starting on time. I've actually, um, I've had one of those, hey Rachel, I've actually had one of those days, um, you know, where you dread and dread and dread and then you just get the shit done. <laughs> That's the kind of day I've had, so I'm in a pretty good mood uh, from that, and um I wanted to do a, a myth class, but what just felt better for me tonight was to do um, sort of a flow tech class um, because I want to kind of eventually set up something called tipping. And I think the more well-versed you guys are in rolling, at least as I understand what rolling is, I think the, uh, the better we can get into that, that material. Um, and I'm still kind of putting that material together too, just as a teacher. It's, it's, I wouldn't say it's quite fully baked yet. Um, but if we have some common language, it'll really help. Uh, so that's what we're going to kind of work on tonight. Um, this is a very old school hoop path class in the sense that it's going to be a deep dive into vertical rolling. I don't know what your medical charts are. I don't know where, well, how you're feeling today. So if, if, if we start to overwork a body part or something like that, just take, you know, take a break. I'm definitely not here to hurt anybody. I've been doing this a long time and it definitely toughens up my arms. So, um, before... Oops. Oh, no. I did that thing. Okay, but everything looks like it's... Here, let me just check and make sure I didn't just goof everything I just did. No. 
No, that one's all right. All right. Okay, no, we're good. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Sorry, <y'all. laughs> I actually spent the day setting up. I, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I hope I'm back. Old school equals best school, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so let me uh, show you a little bit about what uh, vertical rolling is, and then we'll sway up and get going. So the sort of, the deal with, um, did this, it, let me know if, if the stream just cut out, let me know, guys. I didn't, it hasn't given us any indication that it did, so I don't think it did, but if it did, let me know. Oh. That's what's wrong. There we go. Okay. This is vertical um, rolling. And the reason why we started calling it rolling in the first place <laughs> was way, way back in the day, it was so old school that we wanted just a slang name for when the hoop wasn't spinning around. Okay, good. Um, we wanted just a name for something when the hoop was just, uh, wasn't spinning around your core, but spinning around somewhere else. And so we, I, whatever, started calling it rolling. And it was really just so that we didn't get, um, you know, confused about what we were talking about. So I taught that way. And so the way that I've always understood rolling is just rolling the hoop around but like every sort of technique in hooping, there's no real rules to say this is definitely not rolling or this definitely is. But I would say one thing about rolling is that uh, this would be samurai movement. This would not necessarily be rolling. Rolling is movement of the hoop around something. It's, it's, it is sort of a running of a na around a body part. And you can stop that, and you can zig that, and you can zag that, you can iso that, you can do all the things with that. But the default is that it's going to be moving. That's what makes it rolling. It's like a rolling stream or a rolling, you know, whatever, you know. <laughs> Hoop and Daly's here. Sweet. Okay. All right, so let's sway up. Hopefully that made sense to you guys. We're going to sort of explore that. And I hope that that made sense. Our beautiful dog, or Tara's beautiful dog, Rex, is not a big fan of Sway. Um, okay, so I have already put a playlist together on SoundCloud, but we're going to hop, we're going to start off with just some super slow stuff on my... on my iTunes. Yeah, this will work. Oh, Juniper's here, sweet. Okay, so let's get going with this. Kelly's here. Wow, look at the whole crew, nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I see. One second, everybody. There we go. Okay. No. All right. Why is the song not playing? Oh, I know. <laughs> Sorry. <y 'all. laughs> Right. Audible breath in. Audible breath in. I think one of the most 
most amazing things about human beings and their bodies is how so many human beings can draw with their bodies in the most creative of ways. Ways of moving that are almost taken for granted. And I'll tell you exactly what I mean. I'll show you what I mean. I, as your movement teacher, can ask you to move like seaweed. You've never been seaweed. You've never been stuck at the bottom of an ocean. You've only seen it. You've probably only seen its movement on film. And yet by visualizing it, your body can become seaweed. you to be that seaweed in hard, fast currents, and in slow, gentle currents. Audible breath in. can deal with it and help us have fun with it. Audible breath in. kind of a short sway. Oh, they're digging the new camera angles. <laughs> Didn't waste three hours today. <laughs> Sweet. All right. If you ever want to get on my good side, tell me the cameras look great. Okay, let's, um, uh, of course I'm having fun. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about rolling in. Oops. All right, so we're going to start with the, um, we're going to kind of take a deep dive with rolling. And the first thing we're going to start with is just the roll itself. And there's going to be one rule that we're going to go ahead and, or, uh, yeah, kind of a rule. But it's a fun rule. It's an easy rule. And that is because we all have different sort of, tolerances for things so far. Your arms will toughen up if you're new to this or whatever. So because of that, I'm just going to invite you that when you just listen to your body and when it's time to change hands, that you'll just change hands. Like if you start to get burned out on one hand or something. And that'll be good anyway because we want to learn these things in both hands anyway. Oh. Uh, hmm. 
Was denn hier? Huh. Uh, hm. Well, shucks. Okay, I don't know if... Huh. I haven't done this in a while. Huh. This is we're on. Okay. 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 Um, if it's pausing, you... Hmm. My, I am uh, sending this to you guys in a, on a, um, the resolution is very poor on mine. So if you're watching on your TV, it could lock up. I'm not exactly sure how that would work. But. Mine's okay. Okay, sweet. So maybe it's just, all right. I, I really like it when you guys tell me that there's a lag. Um, it helps us sort of find the problem. Just joining all as well. Okay, cool. So make, maybe it might just be your individual connection, Ms. Sin, and I, um, I'm not sure. Hopefully that's what it is <laughs> because I, I would hate to lose everything. All right, so, um, oh, yeah. So we're going to jump over to my playlist now. Okay. All right, so. I don't want to spend too much time talking about every single uh, part of this class tonight because I don't want you to get tired as we're doing this. All right, sweet. Now, since it's Monday night, we're going to get a little miffy. Yeah, we're done with the sway if you want to bring him out. All right, sweet. Thanks for coming in. Okay. Okay, so let's get back into uh, character here. Saza the Illuminated. She's the second ever Maidan. She's the first friend of Ana. She's very, very petite. She's about five foot, five foot, <laughs> maybe less. <laughs> She's of African descent. She has a giant afro. She's beautiful. And she would play with the wind. She would stick out her arms and play with it and dance with it. And she would wear these long sashes and capes and mystical things that the wind would... But she would take the wind and she'd wrap it around her, let it go. So our first approach to rolling tonight is going to be based on that. This idea that you're creating a wind current with your roll. If I weave with it, I'm stopping the roll. It's kind of like I'm stalling the roll. You can think of it that way. And then I can go back into my rolling. I can pop into a weave. So when we say vertical hooping, when I say vertical hooping in the hoop path, I always mean off body just because earth, I mean sky angle was what sky and earth sort of described that already. So you can translate into your language, but in hoop path, vertical hooping is off body hooping. Good. Now, just like when the hoop is rolling around your body. Okay, good. Maybe the buffer's filling up or something. Sometimes you have a I don't know. I'm sure you know that. Um, so, what I wanted to uh, play with as we explore this is kind of what Tara's doing already. She's not there. There she is. Which is to play with taking the roll to a different part of the body.
So we've been rolling, we've been switching hands. And now you can go ahead and, you know, try to find that rhythm. I'm rolling here. I bring my arm in. Out. So, and this is important. You can kind of see it. Tara is doing a rising current. I'm doing a falling current. Tired of that, you can come out of it, switch hand arms. You could just start it that way. Oh, well you can, I mean that's, that's one way to pop it in is if I come back here and come here and then just tuck my elbow into it. Let's see. I mean that's... <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's what I'm doing. I, I hadn't really thought about that. So I'm going left, right, and then back here. All right, so I'm in my right my right hand. I'm weaving across and then back, and then that's when I'm dip, uh, stipping my, uh, dipping my elbow back into the current. practice. I really love this thing. <laughs> yeah, I need to work on the merch thing. Sorry. I know I promised you guys hoodies. And could look. So anyway, I'm, I'm in this vertical roll here. I can play with that. Let's see, I can't remember this right now. Oops. Say what? For those of you that have two hoops and do twins, one of the cool things you can do with twins, I wish I had another hoop my size, is you can bounce at the same time wherever you're rolling, however you're rolling. But if you just start to bounce, both of the hoops will sink. As we're talking about, um, actually, I'll just let the music play so I don't um, drift off into space talking too much. Uh, but one cool thing about rolling, obviously, is, or maybe it's not obvious, but, you know, is isolations. And the way the hoop is rolling, so the way the direction of its roll and how my, the movement of my hand correlates to that, this is a stall. But then if my movement of my hand is going opposite, like if the box I'm drawing is, if, if I was drawing a box in the opposite direction that the hoop was traveling, that's kind of an anti-spinny thing. But... <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice tip. I'm seeing. I'm catching up here, guys. Sorry, I didn't know. Tip, that's awesome. <laughs> nice tip. Tip's been hooping almost as long as I have. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> it's a trip. How you can have like? Oh my gosh. I remember when I did my first wedgie. <laughs> I was like, finally. <laughs> 
never got it, got it again though. So I'm in rolling now. And what I, I invite you to play with is remember in, in shoulder hooping how we would talk about pulses, like where you would just pulse, you know, you would just put a quick burst of energy. You can kind of do that, or you can do that totally with rolling in any direction. And I'll show you what I mean. Like if I bring the hoop up here and I'm just using my, like my whole body to help me roll, my arm's not really even moving that much, then I can just push with my arm or try like kind of an erratic movement and just see what happens to the hoop, right? So I'm, I'm here, I'm just gonna push. And every now and then you'll hit something and the hoop will either pause or speed up or whatever. And that's usually meaning that you're hitting one side of either the stall or the anti-spin perfectly, right? And you can play with how you hit those. There we go. You can play with how you hit those. that was going to play for this. exercise we're just talking about pulses and for those of you that are like into samurai you could like use you, you can pulse and come in and out of samurai the same way but essentially like what makes a, I don't think I hopefully I'm getting this across what makes a roll a roll is that it keeps rolling right so if you interfere too much with Samurai, then you're just kind of like reversing, which is cool, but it's not necessarily rolling. not actually losing momentum it's not static like this what's giving it that whole sort of pop is that it's constantly moving it's rotating yeah, yeah. God, the hoop community got obsessed with isolations for <laughs> like many years. <laughs> people used to call isolation, the way, the way people talk about flippy foldy shit now is the way people used to talk about isolations back then. Uh, okay. How you feeling? Okay. All right. <clears throat> so <laughs> just to get the heart rate up for a little bit since uh, we're gonna come back to some more things, but I thought that I would uh, show you guys, and hopefully, hopefully these pants aren't too baggy to do this, but um, there is a very athletic way to do rolling with the legs, and that would be to put a leg in. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Live in the place you love, right? So we're here, and this is vertical rolling on one leg. Now, I'm not flexible at all. <laughs> Tara knows that. <laughs> so I, this is the only, 
<laughs> way I could do this right now. But that's, that's my left leg, and then I would switch to my right leg. I'll switch to my right leg. Reverse. All right. you back in there. There we go. <laughs> wow. Man, it doesn't take much to get you. My heart rate's like rocking right now. The slides are hard. Good dismount. <laughs> Tara's got the side thing going. Mine have the. Oops. Yeah, let's see. Let's talk good. Dis well, you could definitely do that, like the thing that all, you know that hoopers do, where you. Um, what's the thing? Right. Let's do all the foldy shit. What else could you do? Yeah, I don't know. I can't get out fast enough. You can go through it. Like to duck under. Okay, cool. Nice. 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 that all right so my my 6 p.m. hand whatever hand that is to you definitely or six yeah I definitely think dropping it on with the same hand that it's holding the to the same side of the body is helpful. Bliss. 
Okay. Mm. All right, that's about as upbeat or as high paced as we're going to get, I think. It did? Yeah, I bet. Okay. <laughs> so, um, we're going to kind of like move to two different areas, but with the same concept. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of predictably, we're headed towards tosses. And no matter where you are, uh, you can work on your tosses. I used to live in a place that had like seven and a half foot ceilings and so it was really low <laughs> uh, but it taught me sort of how to do these little micro tosses and they can like feel like very you know uh i don't mean the, this in the wrong way but they can feel very zen And one of the ways you can sort of deepen your connection to it is to imagine that when you're, when you're holding it, you are still trying to add momentum to it. You're still trying to keep it rolling. And these tosses are really just like, that's all right, keeping the hoop rolling. Sweet, please do. <laughs> And if I push into the corner, the bottom corner, the hoop stays rolling. Now, I like to throw from my forearms, and you know, this might not be comfortable for everybody. And then I'm, you can imagine like, it's like I'm dipping my hands through a waterfall here. And I'm pulling my hands out. I know this is super geeky, so we'll probably have a, like, a longer free hoop than usual, but for, since this is Monday night and this is the advanced class, I hope this is not too geeky. But when I want to show you something. When I'm making these tosses here, when I am making these tosses here, I'm re-engaging with the hoop. Like Once it's in the air, I'm pushing my hand into the lower arc of the hoop, the lower arc of the hoop. And by pushing my hand, remember when we were doing this thing? That instinct will help sort of you develop how to get a nice little pop on your throws. But you think the smoothness comes a lot from your catches and you're catching it in the southern arc. For what it's worth, I'm spinning my hoop to my right hand. It's falling towards my right hand right now. I'm holding it in my left hand.
Oh, that's right. So I'm pushing, I'm sorry, I forgot why did I set that up? <laughs> because I'm pushing into this corner. So I'm like spinning to my right, I'm holding it with my left hand. I'm pushing into the corner, this corner. Poop geeky. <laughs> okay, so the reason I'm pointing this out, y'all, is that if you're, depending on what level of, you know, vertical game you're at, <laughs> This is always getting it at the southern arc or the lower arc. But I can go get it at the northern arc. I just have to change the way I grip the hoop. Let me show you what happens. If I was doing like really big tosses, if I don't catch it down on the southern arc and I catch it up here, that's a wrist breaker, right? If I normally, if I catch it on the northern arc, there's no place for it to roll and it just deadens. It's a cool move to do, like if you mean to do it, like you intentionally want to misdirect or something like that. But otherwise, it's kind of a flow breaker and it definitely breaks the roll if you get it on the northern arc. The only way you can combat that if that happens is to teach your hand that the moment the hoop touches it, it needs to spin it again. It needs to spin it across. It needs to get some more spin back on it if it hits here. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to go from, I'll use just one hand, but I'm carrying it from one side to the other side in point position. My thumb is down on this side and it's carrying it over to here. Then my hand is jumping across and carrying it back over to here. Okay. This is if I did it sort of like walking the hands. That might be easier at first to... You can imagine like maybe you're curving around something, you're you know, bringing your hand around something. So this is me if I'm getting it at the bottom. And then this is what looks like if I get it at the top. sense at all. We'll put some music on and let you ask questions. The biosphere in which we live is one giant consciousness. And we are a small portion of that. These are extended neurological membranes. This is the move that we've done a lot where we've, we've learned this move here and then just passing it side back and forth. But I can start to use that northern arc to create a crawl. And you see how it's the same move, but it just looks different, feels different to you. So instead of just, re this is the regular move, but now I'm getting gooey on the inside and using the northern arc to kind of hold the hoop. Isolations or northern arc type stuff. Nice tea.
is to understand the language of nature. And so hopefully, the spirit of goodness will survive. You have any, uh, <laughs> Tara says that's tiring <laughs> and it is. Okay. Um, all right. That was pretty techie stuff tonight. I, uh, I appreciate the, so <clears throat> I'll show you a little bit. Actually, this will kind of be one way we can, I'll tease sort of what's ahead. And um, we've kind of done tipping before, but it's um, oh. we've done a little bit of tipping before, but it's basically when you intentionally move the hoop to another plane, like you're 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 pushing it in a way, like um, like I could, like if I did something like this and brought the hoop down, like if I my like I'm tossing it, or uh, let's see. Yeah, if I was like tossing it and kind of did it, started to create a wrap <laughs> with it by pushing into it, moving my hand really fast, that's called a kind of a tip. Boom. This is me tipping the hoop into another balance, you know, or another position. That's a tip. And it's kind of unique because, at least the way I've been doing it, it's, it's kind of a different way of pushing the hoop because you're actually not pushing it on its, you know, its most outer wall, but now it's a tip is kind of like where you're pushing it on this kind of inner wall, <laughs> this corner here. So you're kind of coming in at an angle on a lot of these tips. It's just a different feeling with it because you're not trying to get under it. You're trying to get sort of beside it. This would be if I got under it and I create a balance. This would be a tip. I'm not trying to get under it at all. I'm just trying to catch it sort of with my movement. So one way you can start to feel what this tip impulse is, is this move we were just doing. And you can, uh, let's do a rising current. So I'm rolling the hoop. It's on my left hand on my right side. And I'm coming back and forth. I forgot what I was going to show. Oh, right. So, <laughs> thank you, baby. So, I'm here and I'm pulling it back. So, the tip would happen as I'm pulling it back, my hand is going to tip out over the hoop like this and it tips it. We've done this in class before, but it tips the hoop away and it really kind of puts this sort of funky angle. So, I'll show you what I mean right now. So, this is me doing that same move with zero tipping. Now, when this hand comes in, it's going to tip the plane of the hoop. And you see how it immediately goes out of plane? This is tipping. So this is the regular plane. And then this is me. If I push with these hands, if they start to roll here and they tip over, I'm tipping back over my wrist. And these, this might be a move that like feels cooler than it looks. <laughs> but this is the tr traditional, and this is vertical. But I'm going to start to twist the hoop. Boom, boom. Okay. All right, we'll just free hoop from here. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Tara. <laughs>
normal rolling and <laughs> okay as it gets over here before I'm bringing it back my hand here flips it puts pressure on it you're sort of backhanding tipping is like you sort of are backhanding but it can be like see it, it can be like a cool way to get out of the vertical like super fast you see that clean transition some then vertical movement here, I can just... This gives you a little bit of extra pop on things. But this is... I'll show you this camera one more time. This is it. Just pop it over here. Pop it. Pop it. back to that normal one. So the same thing. The only nice key. And then the only thing is Oh. Okay, guys, we'll just free hoop from here. Thank you. I will be back Thursday. I'm thinking about doing a Zoom class. I'm thinking about doing a Zoom class this Thursday because I don't have that many credits left there. So uh, we might do a Zoom. I think we will do a Zoom class this Thursday. And for those of you that don't want to join, but it'll stream to YouTube. I've figured out some things since the last time. It'll stream to YouTube. It'll be in two places. So you could just watch it like a regular class, although it'll look a little bit different. Um, but I think, yeah, let's do that. Uh, that might be one of our last ones.
have a request to keep it on multiple screens. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I know what it means. All right, Lisa. Sorry, you can't be there live. Free Hoop guys, thank you for joining us tonight. We're gonna do a couple more songs. Fix Disappeared there for a second because I want to show you who this artist is and I'm having trouble getting it. So I will just share the link. So here is the uh, list to tonight's playlist. And this song is called Gravitas, or it's called by Variant Field, and it's called Letting Go. And it's about seven or eight deep on the playlist.
<laughs> Jackie, you're always there for us. <laughs> okay, I think we'll maybe... Let's make this one our last song. This will be the last song. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Tara. Wherever you are. Welcome, Heidi. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Shelly. <sighs> Thank you, guys. 